There's only one way to solve this mystery. And it won't be that hard. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be taking a look at this mystery box here of 50 comics. I picked this up at Second and Charles, and Second and Charles is a bookstore that's got video games, uh, books, obviously, movies, records, comic books, got a little bit of everything in there. It's a big store. I don't have one real close by, but every now and then we drive a couple towns over and we check it out. And they had a bunch of uh, mystery boxes set up. They had a bunch of Blu-ray DVD mystery boxes. I think there might have been a video game one. And uh, this was the only comic one that they had. They only had one box there and 50 comics. It was 25 bucks. And I said, what the heck, let's go ahead and try this out. Now, I've got very low expectations and that's always the best way to go into something like this. Keep your expectations low and let it surprise you. But who knows, there may be something good in here. So without wasting any more of your time, let's go ahead and stick the knife in this thing, open it up, and see what we got inside. All right, so I took the pretty ribbon off, took off the outer uh, little wrapping there, cut the box open, and we're gonna check this thing out. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I wasn't even sure if they were gonna be bagged and boarded or not. It looks like the answer to that is no. Maybe some of them will be. Looks like there may be some bags in there. So let's just start grabbing these and uh, Checking them out. So we got Conan number 147. This is an old one back from early 80s, probably. Not in great condition, but not in horrible condition. Got another Conan 146. Another Conan 145. Looks like they just went into a box and just grabbed a bunch of comics and threw them in here because they're all in order. Conan the King number 40. This thing is in horrible condition, but I guess that's to be expected. Another Conan. Number 161. And finally, we get our first non-Conan comic. So this is Badger, number 5. This looks like it might be from Image Comics. We got a Dark Horse comic, Nexus, Nightmare in Blue, number 4 of 4. Here's another Dark Horse comic, Grindel. War Child. That looks pretty cool. Number 4 of 10. Another Dark Horse Terminator, the Terminator. So that's a really good cover. And what's next? We got The Darkness from Top Cow Comics. I guess from Image Comics. And here's our first DCs. We got Green Lantern number 42 and this one is bagged. No, no backing board. Green Lantern number 37. Hey, look at that. Another Conan. Number 142. Another Green Lantern. Number, looks like zero. The beginning of tomorrow. Another all new Green Lantern. Number 51. Another Green Lantern. If someone likes Green Lantern and Conan, uh, let me know down below. <laughs> you can get some comics out of me. Green Lantern number 29, Green Lantern number 1, that might actually be pretty cool to read. Here's Green Lantern number 26, got lots of Green Lanterns. Green Lantern number 27, number 28, number 25, so we got a pretty good run of those. And here's our first one that looks like it's bagged and boarded. Batman, number 11, I Am Suicide, as part of the Rebirth. Another Batman, this one is also number 11, and that's a variant comic. Very cover for the same one. Another one in this line here, we got number 8, and then number 7, and then number 6. And then another number six. So this one is the variant cover. And then number five. This is definitely, they just grabbed a big chunk of comics right out of a box. All in a row. Number four. It'd be nice if we can get 
the whole set. This is a variant cover of number four. And here's the original one of number four. And doesn't look like we're going to get number one, two, or three in that series. Because we're back to Green Lantern, number two. And then Green Lantern, number 46. And number 47. And number 39. And 45. We can just fast forward through a lot of these. Number 44. Number 43. Number 40. Number 41. And number 38. All right, looks what look what's coming next. Look what's in there, <gasps> Conan. This is actually part of the limited series, number two in a two issue limited series. Of course, we're not going to get number one, are we? Because we're going to King Conan, and these King Conans here are in pretty bad shape, like this one. Look at this. The staples are all, all the way up here. Ooh, you can't see it. So King Conan number 16, number 12, number 13, we got another Conan the Barbarian number 139, then 140, or 141, 130, 128, Conan the Barbarian number 7, and then Conan the King number 34 so this mystery box is probably 90 percent Conan and Green Lantern all right so I tallied them up to see if there was actually 50 in there and there was exactly 50 so we got 20 Green Lanterns and what's what's funny is uh, as I was counting through them it was almost like you'd grab 10 they'd be all the same and then there'd be 10 all the same and then there'd be 10 all the same so it's almost like someone that's filling these boxes is just going through and going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, grabbing that, throwing it in a box, because uh, that's almost how it worked out. So we got 20 Green Lanterns, we got 16 of these Conans, uh, that includes Conan, Conan the Destroyer, and King Conan. We got 9 Batmans, I would have liked to get a, a couple more to, to finish out this, but uh, I guess uh, those other ones might have been too good or not worth the you know that maybe they didn't have them and then we got uh five total indies so 50 total comics uh we did get what we paid for i don't know if i would have purchased any one of these uh by themselves if i was just browsing in their store and flipping through the comics i don't know if any of the, any of these would have jumped out at me to uh to purchase so the the end result is i got them all for about 50 cents each basically um is it worth it? I, I don't know. <laughs> if I had a use for these, then maybe. You know, these Batmans are not too bad. Maybe I'll read through them. Maybe I'll read through that Green Lantern number zero and see what that was all about. But I'm probably not even going to look at the Conans. Uh, it's kind of hard to, to grab an indie comic and start right in the middle of issue number 28 and kind of know what's going on. But uh, we'll find something to do with them. Maybe I'll decoupage something with them you know cut the covers up or something or just uh you know hand them out to to kids at halloween or something who knows but just wanted to show you guys what was in a mystery box from second and charles in case you ever see them and, and wonder what may be in there i i guess uh just like me keep your expectations low and hope to be surprised well, that's going to wrap it up for this one hope you got some enjoyment out of it if you did i appreciate a thumbs up that helps out the channel if you want to see more weird stuff like this, go ahead and check out the rest of the channel and smash that subscribe button. That's going to do it for now. I thank you as always for watching, and until next time, peace out and geek out.